Chase Retail. Don't miss baseball action tonight when the Cardinals face the Diamondbacks tonight at 10 p.m. on ESPN2. A full year run on poor play ended Sunday for Tiger Woods, unfortunately with another injury issue. It was a disappointing end to what had been an encouraging tournament for Woods, who shared the 36-hole lead and trailed Jason Gore by just two strokes entering the final round, finishing tied for 10th at the Wyndham Championship, his best finish of the year. Afterward, he was asked if it was his back, which he had surgery on in March of 2014, that was bothering him. Woods said, it's not my back, no, it's just my hip. Skip, how much closer is Tiger to being back? Stephen A., week after week, we discuss this topic. And my answer is the same as it's always been through this golf season. He's not very close to being back. And I'm trying hard to jump back on this bandwagon. Over the weekend, my mom started texting me on Friday. Are you watching Tiger? Are you... Yes, I'm watching Tiger, Mom. Saturday. Are you watching Tiger Mom? Well, I had to step out and grab something to eat, but I'm about to go back and watch Tiger Mom. She's all over it. I tell you, she's the biggest Tiger fan. They sold 50,000. They had to print 50,000 extra tickets when Tiger committed to playing that fairly small tournament at that birdie paradise venue that they were in over this, the last four days. And remember, fairly weak field. Four players in the top 20 in, in this field. It's just not, it's not enough for me, Stephen A., because what started happening on Saturday was that Tiger started to wake back up and realize who he's no longer. He's no longer that guy. So starting on the sixth hole on Saturday, going all the way through the tenth hole on Sunday, Tiger was even par while the field is making birdies like crazy. So he was already falling back to the same Tiger we've seen this whole golf season. And then we know what happened on 11. He catches a tight lie to the left side of the green. He just blades his chip yep. completely over the green as we saw him do again and again early in the golf season, starting back at the Phoenix Open mm -hmm. when, when we were there for the Super Bowl. And then he chili dips his chip coming back uphill, and then he, you know, three yep. pots. You know, you know what? He takes a triple bogey, and he's completely out of it. And then he has to bring up the hip issue after people thought it was his back. I just don't think it was anything. He laughed about the triple bogey, and that drives you crazy because that's not the Tiger we came to know and, and love before. And the reason I'm having trouble with the hip or whatever it was, when he realized he was finally completely out of it because he triples, then he, he bogeyed 12, then he relaxed a little bit, and he birdied four of the last six holes. Tiger Woods That's birdied right. four of the last six holes, which I'm sure will give a lot of the golf riders enough of an excuse to pick him to do very well, if not win the Masters next April. Good for golf. Golf desperately needs this guy, and it drives me a little crazy because I'm a hardcore golf fan, but I miss him too, I must admit. And I did watch much more of this tournament than I ever would because it was won by a 51-year-old Davis Love III to become the third oldest winner in PGA Tour history. And, and while Tiger was shooting even par on the front yesterday, Davis was going four under on the front. So That's come right. on, Tiger. So I, I, I can't get excited by what I didn't see from Tiger Woods. Well, let's say, Skip. I need your help because, you know, I watched Tiger on Saturday. I didn't watch him Sunday when he triple bogey, bogeyed on 11th and then obviously he bogeyed on the 12th. Actually, I watched those two holes and then I was done with them. I, just, I was just done. I couldn't take it anymore, to be honest with you. I wasn't around to see, you know, the last few holes when he birdied for the last six holes. But I will tell you this. I need your help because I have a radio show that comes on every day, 1 to 3 p.m. Mad Dog Sports Radio, Sirius XM, Channel 82. Switch from Channel 85 to so Channel 82 now. I'm glad 82 you told now. me because I've from 85, 85 to 82. It's 82 okay, now. Just huge. switch to 82 coming up on August world. 13th. Yeah. On August 13th. Mm -hmm. Here's the deal. The reason I need your help, because sometime this week I need you to come on my show. And the reason I need you to come on my show, Skip, is because you and I just talk about it here. I got to deal with these damn callers calling up about Tiger saying do you realize up until two years ago that he was play two years ago he was player of the year you understand that he was one of the top ranked golfers in the world yes he hasn't won a major since 2008 Stephen hey but this guy has been winning you just it, it just happens and you don't lose faith in Tiger this is what they've been saying and my response is I have a right to believe my eyes 
And what I you have do. been seeing is an individual who is a shell of himself over the last two years. Yep. Whether it's shooting off the tee, whether it's shooting out of mm -hmm. the rough, whether it's putting, especially putting, yep. this brother can't seem to get it going. Now, over the first couple of days or so, he had it going, no question about it. Yep. Then he fell behind, lagged behind, like you said, when yep. he pawed. You had Davis Love and those brothers four under. Yep. And then Sunday, you triple bogey on the 11th. Then you follow that up with a bogey. Then you're laughing while at the same time bringing up a hip injury. So if it ain't your game, it's your health. Mm. If, it ain't, if it ain't your health, it's your game. Yep. It just doesn't seem to be. Now, that doesn't mean that Tiger can't find a way to make it work down the line. But I think, Skip, there is no doubt that it's one of those rare cases where repetition is not going to work to his advantage. I truly, truly believe and willingness to step away from the game for a while is going to help this guy immensely, as opposed to continue continue competing and now it's got to the point where we're having people rave about the fact that he had a 10th place finish yeah this is what life is like for tiger woods now i don't really i really don't know what else to say well you're going to get your wish in a small way because now he's going to have a forced step away from golf because there's there's no place else for him to play for a while until the tour kicks back in with the fries and i think he's He's made noise about play the fries, which is in October out in the, uh, the right. Bay Area. So he's going to be off for a while. He's, he said he's going to be going to a lot of soccer games for his kids. Maybe that'll be good for his head. He drove the ball much straighter than I've seen him drive it for two years. For a while, as you said, Friday, Saturday, uh, Thursday, Friday, he, he did. He, he started to f flicker, just flicker some, some views of the old Tiger. But he doesn't trust it in his head, and when it was time to, to really take it up to the next level, the old Tiger would have won this tournament by five shots. Seriously. He would have just won it going away. Steven, old I, Tiger is no more. Yep. How, how do I call the radio show? Because I, I might need to call today. I have some things I need to vent. 888-MAD-DOG-6. That's 888-623-3646. Okay. If you hear from Molly from Connecticut, it's me. No, from what you got to say, town. Right. <laughs> from Molly from Bristol? New Britain. <laughs> Molly from New Britain. Yeah. I can't there pronounce my T's. <laughs> Coming up, rapper and friend of the program, Little Wayne will join us. A lot of hot topics to get into with him. Stay here.